important issue this time of year, and that is severe weather. When you hear those tornado sirens, do you know where to go in your house for protection? Well, tonight, Storm Team meteorologist Ken Schultz begins a series of reports to show us what to do when there is a tornado warning. And Ken? Well, last week we, we talked about facts and figures regarding severe weather as we introduced our severe weather brochure, Storm Watch. And this week we're going to take a few days to discuss the most asked question when severe weather strikes. Where do I go for safety in my house or home? Now, to answer that question, we went to two new homes. One had a basement, the other did not. Tonight, I'll show you the safest areas in a house without a basement. A tornado warning has been issued. The tornado sirens are sounding in your neighborhood. Now, where do you go in your house and home for the best protection? Rule of thumb. Always seek the lowest level. If you're on the second floor, the first floor is the best. First floor, if you have a basement, go to the basement. In this case, this house does not have a basement. So where in this particular style of home do you go for the best protection? All houses not created equal. Some have their strengths, some their weaknesses. In this particular house, very popular floor plan, the uh, cathedral ceiling. Structurally sound, yes, but not necessarily the safest place to be in this situation. In fact, we always talk about uh, in schools, get away from gymnasiums and auditoriums. This is similar to that. We talk about going into the interior section of the house, an interior hallway. This is it in this house. We're surrounded on three sides by bedrooms. These bedrooms have glass. You always want to protect yourself from that. If this was the safest place in this house, you'd want to shut all the bedroom doors. But we're still close to the cathedral ceiling. Now, what about the bathroom? We normally say that that is another safe place in any house or home. In this case, this bathroom looks great. No windows. You always want to stay away from windows. But the problem with this particular bathroom is that this wall here adjoins an outside wall. There's nothing between you and the outside but a little bit of fiberglass, some drywall, 2 by 4 studding, about 4 inches of brick, about that much between you and the outside. So this bathroom, not necessarily the safest place to be in this house. Where is it? Well, it's not here in the dining room or the kitchen area, but we're getting close. First thing I want to point out, though, is the fact that we have a load-bearing beam that runs across the width of the house. That is a good thing. The safest place to be in a tornadic situation in this house is the utility room, where you'd have your washer and dryer. Now, this utility room does adjoin a garage area, but it doesn't directly go out into the garage. You have this little L turn. That, too, is a good thing. Also, we have another load-bearing beam that runs across the length of the house. Two of these walls here are well supported by load-bearing beams. Interior section of the house, centrally located, no windows. Only problem is we do have windows directly across from us here in the dining room area. In this particular case, this utility room comes complete with a pocket door. So where would you go if the storm team tells you or advises you that a tornado is perhaps going to affect your neighborhood? Get your family, get your portable radio, your flashlight, bring your family into this particular room, set them down on the floor, cover your heads, and, in this case, close the door. Again, some of the tips there. Always seek the lowest level. First floor is safer than the second. Basement is safer than the first. The center of the house, you want to get away from the exterior walls and windows. You'll usually seek a bathroom, hallway, or a closet in the central part of the house. Remember to cover your head, take that flashlight, and tune to 84 WHAS because we are there, too, covering the severe weather for you when severe weather breaks, no matter how long it takes. You are going to continue to give us more tips this week? Going to do it again tonight at 11, and tomorrow we take a look at a house with a basement. All right. Thank you, Ken. Thank you.